I have a question for you if you are married. Raise your hand if your marriage is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna put my hand down because I don't qualify and I bet none of you do as well. We are not perfect. We're not perfect beings. We live in a sinful world. And we bring that sinfulness into our marriage. We bring baggage into our marriage. We bring struggles into it. And even the couple that has the best intentions to walk forward with Jesus the way that he plans, uh, it's always gonna have some bumps in the road. But I wanna introduce you to Vows to Keep, a nearby ministry whose heart is to get us back on that path toward Jesus so that our marriages can be the way that God has planned. David and Tracy Sellers, let's talk about this ministry what is Vows to Keep? Vows to Keep is a marriage ministry that we felt, we felt called to start um, just to help people to apply the Bible to the things that they're going through in their marriage because the Bible is not silent. Uh, it, it addresses everything we go through in our marriage and gives us clear direction. And so our goal is just to work with couples uh, to share with them how a God who loves us is providing us with everything we need to really excel and to enjoy a marriage and ultimately have a marriage that becomes a testimony for him. Tell me some of the things that Vows to Keep does. Sure. One thing we do is marriage conferences. We travel all around the region. It could be at an event center. It could be at a church. Friday night, all day Saturday, giving couples those big biblical building blocks to take home and build a strong, healthy, godly marriage. We also do uh, date nights, which is, have been a lot of fun. The date nights are usually just a Friday night or sometimes a Saturday night, with a goal to just enrich in the relationship, to have quality time together. We also always present a message and uh, usually a couple with some dessert as well. <laughs> We've done things like canoe date nights. Uh, you get out on the, on the river with your spouse and just have some one-on-one -on -one time to talk. Uh, we would you know, start a bonfire and, and just have a great time together, fellowship. Uh, we've done ballroom dancing and things like that. It totally stretches me outside of my comfort <laughs> zone. But no previous dancing required. Um, these are things that are just intended to give us opportunities to exercise our love for each other. Before you talk about some of the other things that Vows to Keep does, marriage conferences, date nights, face it, we're busy. We're all busy. We've got things going on. Why, why should we as married couples, why should my husband and I stop our busy life to attend a marriage conference or a date night? What's the, what's the benefit from it? That's a great question. We oftentimes find that couples don't want to do that until they're actually at that point of like criticalness. You know, they realize we have just gone off the tracks here and that is unfortunate. I, I kind of liken this to maintenance in your car. Mm -hmm. If we waited to change the oil until you know, we were at the 200,000 mile mark, we wouldn't get there. And so we often encourage couples that are looking for the long haul type of relationship that spending some time at one of our conferences will help you to get there. Uh, it's a great way to do some maintenance. It's a great way to think about the things we're dealing with in our marriage today and how we're gonna set up for a legacy that will last, that the, that the future generations beyond me, you know, my kids' as kids will be able to appreciate. So it's definitely worth going to the trouble of finding babysitters, yes. all, even spending a little money, all of those things, because it's definitely a lot cheaper than oh, absolutely. a divorce, of course. It's <laughs> an investment, and it can be a fun investment. It can be the investment that you've been waiting for. Lord, I need something to happen. All of a sudden, you find yourself at a conference with some time to talk and digest some of those things you're learning, and now all of a sudden, the dialogue is open where it wasn't before. You also have daily, ongoing opportunities through the radio and other things. That's right, we have uh, been on the radio with Vows to Keep Radio for a number of years now, and that is essentially an opportunity that we try to take to just share how God's word applies with something that we've bounced into in our own marriage or something that's come up uh, in a frequent basis with counseling with couples. It's just something that we try to do to share some truth and to make it very applicable to what you might be wrestling with in your own marriage. What are the radio stations, Tracy, that your Vows to Keep Radio can be heard on? So right now you can listen in Lima, WTTP, and he plays our Marriage Minutes right now. Marriage Minutes are just quick one-minute devotions, and soon our Vows to Keep Radio will be on there as well. Is that 101.1? 101.1. One, one. One, one mm -hmm. And then if you're in the Bell Fountain, Marysville, Kenton area, you can listen to Shine FM. That's 88.5 if you're a little bit northward or 88.9. And people can go to the Shine FM website or the Vows to Keep website mm -hmm. and they can listen to those as well, right? Yes. 
So you've got the conferences, we're in great settings, we've got date nights, fun events to get things going. The radio ministry is of course important, but sometimes one-on-one -on -one counseling mm -hmm. is just, is a key. It is a key, and it can be a key right away when a couple is thinking about getting married. That's when we love to see their excitement to do things God's way, to set things up right from the beginning, that solid foundation. So we do premarital counseling. We also do other kinds of counseling. And yeah, we work with couples that are maybe, you know, they've been married for three, four, five years and they've got kids and they're not necessarily in a divorce type situation, but they realize that there's some issues that they're constantly bouncing off of. Those are couples that we would work with uh, all the way up to couples that are literally at a point in which they're ready to sign the divorce papers. I got two emails this past week from two couples that were in that position. Certainly our goal is to try to work with them before that point, but you know, we always want to see that God can transform those hurting situations and he will make them a testimony. We've seen it happen many times. Our counselors um, are all in pursuit of certification or are already certified and uh, we've, we've seen a great fruit from just applying the Bible uh, to these couples and, and to the situations that they're going through. And you're a not-for-profit, so when it comes to costs for this counseling, it's not a typical hourly wage. If, if finances are the issue, mm -hmm. that is not a deterrent when it comes to getting this kind of counseling. Exactly. That's correct. Yeah, we, we basically take an approach where we would ask you to pay it forward for the next couple, in fact, that, that you wouldn't necessarily think of your own marriage, but you'd think of the next one um, and, and make a donation if you can, but it is, it is otherwise free. If that's a factor for you, we don't want it to be. Speaking of donations, if we've got viewers at home who are, who they've made it through, they, their marriages are strong, um, they've, they've survived that 40, 50 year anniversary, and they want to invest in the next generation, can they donate to your ministry? Absolutely, yeah. If you go to vowstokeep.com, there's a, a link there that you can donate, and you can click and donate to us on. All right, vowstokeep.com, vows to keep marriage ministries. I don't know what you think, but as we look at our country, we look at our, our society, we look at all of the ways we're being pulled, I personally think that this is one of the most important ministries that's out there, um, a lifeline, fighting the devil. The devil wants our families and our marriages to end, but God has such a greater plan and vows to keep ministries is a key in order to do that. Here's some information on the screen on how you, on the screen on how you can contact David and Tracy Sellers. Their email address is right there, info at vows to keep .com, their website, or you can jump onto Facebook, like their Facebook page. You can keep up to date on not only the events that they have coming up, but also their inspirational posts that they have just to keep you going. Remember, you can also listen to their radio program at WTTP 101.1 or Shine FM. And make sure you're watching TV for your faith and friends all throughout the month of June and continuing in the summer or online on our website as we bring you incredible biblical marriage tips that could just be an essential key to your strong marital future. If you have questions about marriage issues, if you need to be connected with David and Tracy Sellers at Vows to Keep and you have trouble getting through their website, call us here at TV44. God puts you in your marriage for a purpose, for a reason. He desires to keep you going. And even in those bumps in the road, you feel like you're off track. God is providing resources just like this one to help get you back on the path that he has for you and your spouse.